The number of Democrats running for the U.S. Senate grew today when a young mayor of a metro Atlanta city known for its international diversity threw his hat into the ring. Republican David Perdue is running for re-election next year and enters as the favorite. 11 Live's Doug Richards has more on why Democrats are going to compete for the chance to face him. Democrats haven't won a U.S. Senate seat in 19 years in Georgia. To hear them say it, that could change next year. It's TedForGeorgia.com. At age 36, Ted Terry is nearly half the age and has a bare fraction of the wealth of the millionaire senator he aims to unseat. I'm uh, a working class person. I'm a union member. Um, I've uh, worked uh, you know, as mayor, getting paid $6,000 a year. Terry is the mayor of the DeKalb County city of Clarkston. David Perdue is the Republican U.S. Senator seeking re-election next year. Terry joins former Columbus Mayor Teresa Tomlinson among the Democrats lining up to face Perdue. And Mr. Perdue has described himself as being uh, President Trump's co-pilot and being his influencer. Tomlinson and Terry see Perdue's fortunes falling with the tepid popularity rating of President Trump and with the ascent of Democrats in Georgia. In governor's races since 2006, Republican margins of victory have crept downward while Democrats have crept upward, with last year's razor-thin Republican victory emboldening Democrats eyeballing Purdue. Seasoned politicians are strategic, so they don't run in races that they know that they're destined to lose. I think the results of the last few years suggest that it's not a foregone conclusion that Democrats are going to lose statewide office. President Trump has done his part. He's been very reasonable. Purdue has spent the last three years tying himself to the president. Oh my God. Terry spent part of last year appearing in a reality TV show called Queer Eye. This week, Terry resigned as leader of Georgia's Sierra Club chapter to run for Senate. He says Purdue has issues unrelated to Trump. So when it comes to issues like climate change, we know that he is going to completely ignore the science, completely ignore the action that it must be taken on reverse, reversing global warming. Even if Democrats are ascendant in 2020, David Perdue will be the incumbent, making him the favorite against whichever Democrat gets the nomination. 